People buy farmland for many reasons, such as growing crops, grazing livestock, homesteading, making timber, and more. Farmland can also be a good long-term investment, since most of it goes up in value over time. The United States has about 894 million acres of farmland, of which only 27% is arable and the rest can be used for ranching and other farming purposes. Prices of farmland in all of its states varies a lot, with some states in the Northeast going as high as $20,000 per acre, while on the flip side, prices of farmland in the West and Southeast are much cheaper and can go for as low as $900 for an acre of farmland. So in this video, we've ranked the cheapest states to buy farmland in the United States. All of these are ranked according to their median price per acre, which is accumulated by the recent report done by the United States Department of Agriculture. Furthermore, for the sake of reference, we'll also mention the year-on-year -year appreciation rate of all the states mentioned in this video. But bear in mind we haven't taken tax rates into account. Overall, all of these states are unique in their own way. Some offer good cultivatable land with a great irrigation system, while others offer barren and remote farmlands. But in the end, the best place to invest depends upon the buyer's specific goals and priorities. Number 15. Oregon, Oregon is one of the most geographically diverse states in the country. It has everything from dense forests and volcanoes to crystal clear lakes, mountains, and the Pacific coast. People often move to an Oregon meadow to get away from the busyness of modern life. Most of the listed farmland in this state is in the western and southern parts. Oregon is also a great place for people who work in the livestock, fishing, and vineyard industries. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the average price per acre for farmland is about $3,400, and it goes up by almost 9% every year. However, these prices can vary a lot depending on the region and type of farmland. Number 14, West Virginia. West Virginia is in the Appalachian area. It is known as the Mountain State, and almost all of its land is made up of mountains. Coal mining is the biggest industry in the Mountain State, and it accounts for 98% of the state's growth. However, 24% of the land in West Virginia is farmland, and most of it is undeveloped and cheap. On top of that, the state allows homesteading, and the buyer also owns the mineral rights. West Virginia is known for its shallow acidic soil, which isn't good for growing crops. However, the soil near river floodplains is richer, so it can be a good place to raise animals. If you want to buy farmland in the South, number 13 on the list is Mississippi. Mississippi is often thought of because it ranks high in producing agricultural goods and livestock. Its farmland is also very valuable because it is close to wildlife, fishing spots, and beautiful Gulf Coast beaches. Right now, an acre of decent farmland in Mississippi costs about $3,000, and the price of farmland in the Magnolia State has been going up at a rate of 6% per year for the last few years. Number 12. Maine. Maine is known for its rocky coastline and dense forests. Maine is the most northeastern U.S. state and one of the least densely populated. It is number one in the country for wild blueberry production and number two for maple syrup production. But potatoes are its most important crop. Most of the farmland for sale in Maine is in large parcels, which can make the price per acre lower even though the total asking price may be considered high. According to a recent survey, the median price of an acre of farmland is between $2,800 and $3,000, with a high appreciation rate of 10%. Number 11. Utah has beautiful natural parks and a wide range of wildlife. Utah is a great state for outdoor enthusiasts, with a lot of rugged terrain, arid deserts, and other difficult landscapes. As a result, there is a lot of cheap farmland in many parts of the state. Most people who want to start a farm or ranch are most interested in Texas, the number 10 on the list. Even though prices have been going up in recent years, especially for cropland, it's still one of the best states for people who want to buy arable land because of its long, hot seasons and lack of cloudy days. The state also gives farmers and ranchers tax breaks that people who buy residential land or commercial land don't get. Number 9. Kansas. Kansas has the best landscape. Kansas is one of the best places to buy farmland in the United States because it has a large agricultural system and a good temperature. It is one of the most productive states when it comes to growing grains and weeds. 
Kansas farmland for sale is some of the most sought after rural land in the country, with a typical price of $2,600 per acre. This value goes up every year, with irrigated farmland going up about 25% from the year before, which is the highest rate of annual appreciation in the country. Most people think that its price per acre will go up even more in the coming year because grain prices are going up and there is a strong demand for agricultural products. Farmland in Kansas is also a great investment because you can rent it out for hunting or farming. Number 8. South Dakota. Sale of wood and even camping rentals. South Dakota can be a hard, cold, and lonely place to live, but the state has a long history of agriculture and cheap, plentiful farmland. In fact, South Dakota has always been one of the top five best states in the U.S. high farm income and costs per acre that are lower than average. You can get a lot of value out of an investment in the Mount Rushmore state. Farmland costs about $2,500 per acre, and major field crops and cattle are the most popular goods. Pollution isn't much of a problem for farms because there are so many state parks, and most of the cheap farmland has already been bought up. However, there is still a lot of cheap land that isn't being used. Number 7. Oklahoma Oklahoma's music lives up to its name. Oklahoma is a great place to start farming or homesteading because the land is cheap, there are few rules, the growing season is long, and there are a lot of farming groups. Right now, Oklahoma has the lowest cost per acre among the best states for buying farmland in the U.S., so this is another state with cheap farmland to invest in. Farm income is also low in Oklahoma, but the state has a good rural infrastructure and well-developed farmland communities. Number 6. North Dakota. North Dakota is another place where farms bring in some of the most money in the U.S. North Dakota is a leading maker of dry beans and honey. Its soil is very adaptable, so there are many ways to grow things here or buy them. North Dakota is one of the best states for return on investment because farmland is even cheaper there than in South Dakota. The average price of farmland real estate per acre is a little over $2,000, which is almost 45% less than the national average. The state also has a very relaxed attitude toward tea times. Number 5. Colorado Colorado's mountainous terrain makes for beautiful scenery and ski slopes, but it can also make farming and homesteading seem appealing. Despite the rough terrain, there are plenty of rural acres and meadows to invest in. In fact, Colorado is home to 32 million acres of farmland and almost 40,000 farms, which are known for producing milk and cattle, among other things. On average, land prices in Colorado are almost half of what they are in other states. The fourth one is Nevada. It is known for its desert landscape and its gambling tourism industry. The Silver State has a long history of ranching and offers many opportunities to support this way of life. It can be hard to grow crops in Nevada because of the range of harsh climates, from freezing mountains to blistering deserts. However, it is possible to grow crops by choosing the right crop area and irrigation system. Ranching and raising livestock is the main interest for those who want to take advantage of these opportunities. Wilderness areas, Glacier National Park, and the Rocky Mountains are all in Montana, the third on our list. There are many natural resources on Montana's land. Agriculture is the state's biggest industry, and farming is exactly how the state was built. The median price per acre in this state is about $1,000, and it goes up by 8% every year. This is good news for anyone who wants to invest or start a farm in this area. The land is also fertile and can be used for either ranching or farming. This means that the land has the potential to go up in value, so even if you don't want to live in Montana, you can still make money from an investment there. Number two is Wyoming. Wyoming has almost 30 million acres of fields and almost 12,000 farms. Wyoming has a lot of wide open spaces, and farming has been a way of life there for generations. It has attracted land buyers and ranchers for a long time, mainly because it has low property taxes and no state income tax. This makes it a great place to invest for people who want to make money. High returns. On average, an acre of farmland in Wyoming costs $850, which is less than one-fourth of the national average. Livestock-based farming does especially well in this state because it is an open-range state. This means that large areas of Wyoming land are open to livestock grazing, no matter who owns the land. Number 1. New Mexico. New Mexico's geography is surprisingly diverse, with forested mountains, fertile valleys, and grasslands. Since much of the state is desert, it can be hard to start a farm there, 
However, there is a strong network of local producers, and it's a great place to graze and raise livestock. According to the Department of Agriculture, the median cost per acre for New Mexico farmland is $710, making it the cheapest farmland in the U.S. There are also many opportunities to try out different farming and homesteading projects. So there you have it. Those are the cheapest states to buy farmland in America. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next video.